hi, it's me, your best friend, after a while. Um, today, while my cat is purring really loudly, I want to talk about love triangles. I had a conversation with my friend a few days ago, maybe like a week ago, I don't remember. Anyways, I had a conversation with one of my friends about why love triangles are freaking stupid, and it made me think of, well, the biggest, most popular story that has a love triangle in recent years, as far as I'm aware, Twilight, and the love triangle between um, Jacob, Edward, and Bella. Jacob's the werewolf, Edward's the vampire, and Bella's the idiot. And, of course, it's two guys fighting over the affection of one girl in the beginning, initially, because I'm pretty sure the werewolf gets with the baby at the end, because that's a thing. So, what doesn't make any sense about it, and why it's so stupid, in my opinion, is you have two guys fighting over one girl. It could be two people fighting over one person of any gender. But it's two guys fighting over one girl, and they want to win her affection, and the stupid thing about it is the girl can't decide which of them she likes best. She won't say anything about it and just, you know, lets them fight. And she just sits there and goes, I don't know which one to pick. I like you both. And they're like, we're going to compete to see which one of us comes out on top. And I honestly don't know what Bella prefers in this story, in this series, because she spends the whole time making both of them believe that she wants them. And these two guys never come to this conclusion that why are we fighting over someone who doesn't even 100% like either of us? Like, they don't ever come to this conclusion that the person that they're both pining after, the person that they both want to win as a prize, doesn't even 100% like either of them. She's literally just watching them fight and not doing anything about it. Like, can you imagine being in love with or trying to win somebody who doesn't even like you 100%? Like, it's ridiculous. There's another cat in my room, by the way. We have a freaking kitten. Come here, ugly. Anyways, can you, like, imagine that? It's insane. Say that you have, like, a crush on someone and another person has a crush on this same person as you. And that person knows that you both like them, but is just going to let you and that other person compete for their affections. That person doesn't truly 100% like you. It's just pointless and it's cruel to just let two people fight over you. You know what I mean? This is why love triangles are freaking stupid. <laughs> I think I've written one before, um, which I think is just one of the flaws of buying into a matter of normativity um, because love triangles are everywhere. Yeah, they're freaking everywhere. And it's kind of hard to not have them especially for teenage girls, which is something that I was once, it's kind of hard to escape them. If you're a romantic type, be careful with who you're going after and make sure that they are invested in you and interested in you because why would you want some somebody who can't even choose you over another person? Like, you are worth more than that. That's all I really wanted to say. You guys who are watching this are worth more than a love triangle. Worth more than being part of a love triangle. And I don't mean the polyamorous type. I mean, I hope you know that. So yeah.